Hello everybody. Um welcome to another tutorial vlog. Um today I'll be sharing with you some of the new things that you can do with Google Meet. So recently, um you might have noticed that um there are a lot of new things and um activities that you can do with Google Meet that previously you're not able to do. I'll be sharing that with you today. Let me start um, by introducing you this. So you have to type meet.google.com in order for you to see this web page. So this is the landing page of the Google Meet. And let us start creating um, a meeting room just for today's um, tutorial. So click join or start a meeting and let us name this MO class. There. And then just click continue. Okay, so this is our Google Meet. So let us start joining. Okay, and we are in. So previously, these are some of the things that you can see with your Google Meet. So once you enter, if you added the breakout room extension, which is here, okay, so this is the interface of your Google Meet. So this one. It has the speaker and then it changed in color. You can change this um, upon clicking this Google Meet breakout room extension. Um, also, if you um, added the Google Meet attendance, so this one you will be able to see this you can drag this okay you can create your class list so for example this one and then you can also add your um class list here the names of your students so when they enter um you will be able to see um who are who is absent for that day um you will also get a report of um, who kept on logging out or missing the class so you will see it in the report so let us try to use demo class okay. Um, okay there so you will see here there are already names because I've been using this in my class so let us start with this here you have an option um, whether to download the report using um, HTML or CSV. I prefer HTML because it's easier to load in my computer and at the same time um, it gives me a better view. So let me share with you an example of an attendance. So, for example, this one. Okay, so this is an example of the report um, using HTML. So, you will see it has green. So, and then there are some names that doesn't have green. It means that they're absent for that day. So, you will see it here. Okay, so that is the Google Meet attendance. Okay, so I will just click the check, okay, so that the tab, um, you will not be able to see the tab anymore, okay, if you want to see that, you can just um, click the check again, alright, so you will see here who are present for that day or for your session, um, who's absent and how many students are new in your Google Meet link, it means that they're not part of the list, so let me click the check again. 
So that's one. Another thing that you can see on your Google Meet link is this one. These are emojis. So for example, if you want to get the attention of the speaker or of the class, you can um, give them virtual emoticons. So for example, this one, a virtual clap. All right, let me just click that. This. And then you will see it appearing here. There, you can also do thumbs up. And then there is also hi. There. So you will just have to download this um, extension. This is called Nod Reactions for Google Meet. So you might want to check that out. I'll be putting all of the links in the description box if you um, need it you can just check out the description all right so that one um this one is um or these are some of the um icons when you download the breakout rooms so that one and then uh, some of the new things that um, I noticed that appeared, I think, this week or last week in Google Meet are these. So previously, there are only two icons here. This one, the people in the room, the chat, and then there's a new one. This one is new. So when you click that, these, um, this includes all of the activities that you can do inside your Google Meet. So, um, just like what I told you a while ago, there is a breakout room extension. But I think the Google already put that breakout room okay, here inside the Google Meet. So, in here, you can randomly um, group your students. So, you can create a different rooms here already. You don't have to click the breakout room. So, there. Um, let's see what is the maximum group. Well, I think there's, it can give you a lot more rooms. It depends on how big your crowd is. So I haven't tried this though. Um, I've been using the Google breakout rooms extension. So here you can also shuffle the members or the class. Um, so that you don't have to keep dragging them to their breakout rooms. Alright, so that one. Another activity that you can do is the poll. So this one, if you want to immediately get the attention and make it more interactive, your session, you can create a poll for your students, for example. Okay. How do you feel about our lesson today okay and then just add some of the choices i'm confused um another one is i clearly clearly understood the lesson okay I need help. So there. And then you can just launch your poll. And uh, your students will have an option to um, click their answers here. And then you can also present the poll. So this one, show everyone the result. And then... After that, you can delete the poll or you can end. Um, by the way, it gives you a Google Sheet report. So after your session, it automatically um, downloads the report of your poll. So just like the recordings, um, it gives you a transcript of the chat. So it's the same thing here. So another um, activity that you can do inside the Google Meet um, is Q&A. So with this... I think what Google is doing is 
um, they're trying to put everything here so that you don't have to use third-party apps or you don't have to go to other websites. For example, Mentimeter, um, Pear Deck. So those are some of the examples. So here, you can immediately ask um, questions and then do some polls if you want. So here, for example, um, ask question. So let us try. So when you do this, okay, when you click um, not allowed, it means the students will not be able to ask questions. So here, when you allow that, um, the students can answer or rather they can ask questions and then you will see all of their questions here i think this is one of the um, example of uh, zoom what they're doing when there are some webinars um, you can ask questions so they use a slido so here you can put it immediately here so you can do it already in um, google meet so that one so those are some of the new activities that you can do so another one is this whiteboard so this one open a jam so it's either you choose from your drive or you can start a new whiteboard for example you're um, explaining something and you want the students to um, understand it more you can use that it will open up a new uh, untitled sheet of Google Jamboard all of the um, things that you're doing in your Google will automatically be um, uploaded to your Google Drive so you don't have to worry about that so there guys that's all of the new things that you can do with Google Meet now I hope that this helps you and I hope that you will be able to maximize all of these things so again I'll be linking or I'll be putting all of the links of the things that I showed you in this video in the Google, um, in the description box. And I hope that you can give this video a thumbs up and you will share it to your co-teachers. And thank you. And I hope that you're already subscribed to this channel. So thank you so much and keep safe everyone and God bless you.